Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CCT, Certified Centangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Starflower by Mary Burroughs. Another great tangle by my good friend Mary, and I've done it in the round, and I've done it on a bookmark, or, um, and I just think you're going to find this one a great tangle. We're going to use a round tile, and first of all I'm going to put a border around the outside edge. I think when you see the step outs, and I apologize, they're nowhere on the, you're going to have to look on my um, website at inkadoodles.com to see the step outs because there are no step outs anywhere else, they're not published, and so um, I will make sure I do some step outs. Um, I did one without step outs and I apologize for that. So, and now we're just going to draw a line down through the center and then across so that we have um, a cross in there. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to go from this point over to here and I sh really could do that with my pen but I'm just going to do it with my pencil right now. Switch over to my pen so that we have, um, so I can make that. Now we have that box in the center. And now I'm going to make a dot right here in the center of that, in the center of each one of these because I'm going to draw another box. That fits in the center of that. So that I've got, and I could go ahead and, and make this line, ink it in, so now I'm going to do my um, star flower. We're going to start with a petal shape. In the center. Of each one of these. Now we have our petal shape. And I like to switch over because I'm going to do some fill in. I like to switch over to a, a pen that I can add a little pressure to. So I'm going to use my um, Pigment uh, 05 and I am just going to, and I am going to fill in this triangle. And I'm going to do that on the opposite of every one of these. So think of this square. Now I'm going to fill in and then this one. We're kind of making a little pinwheel shape. I do believe my pen might be running out of ink. Might need to retrieve it. Now we have that all the way around. Now we're going to take um, this center piece and we can um, do lines like this that radiate um, from the center to the outside. They can go this way, or they, we'll we'll do just a little difference. We're gonna, and I love how it builds up in that center. So we're just going to come from the outside and come to that center point. Here's where you can kind of have a lot of um, play with how you do this. And we have it. You can see here I did some striping instead of 
these I just did from the center point down out and did a little striping on the bookmark you can see I've um, even done it a little bit differently so now you can come in and you can add different things that might add um, some interest to your tangle you could add picos I love to do that pico or I, sometimes I call them um, beadline that's somebody else's tangle but it's the same thing where you just put a little dot along the line and you've got a little beadline um, I've gone ahead and put some little perps around the outside edge you could do that you could put some perps in here which really makes it fun this is a great tangle Mary thanks for the the great versatile tangle of um, star flower and I almost forgot we do we should do a little shading I put a little shading in here got a little went a little bit too fast I guess thinking ahead what I wanted to do and we'll put a little shading in there and then use a blending stump and that also adds more interest to your tangle and I love to shade the tops of the per perfs they're fun to shade so there we have some shading I won't go so fast on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.